everybody. Is it still morning? Yeah, just about. Happy Saturday. How are we all on this fine Saturday morning? It's very chilly. It's very autumny at the moment. Um, this is actually nice autumn weather as well because it's not wet anymore. It's just cold. Cold and crispy. Oh, hello. It's Chris's dad. <laughs> so, uh, I think I slept quite well considering last night. Considering what, George? <laughs> so last night, it was just after I'd gone to sleep as well, which is really annoying. Chris had a nightmare. And it was one of those dreams that you're asleep but you're awake, you know? It was I like a lucid open. dream. You had your eyes open and you were like aware of your surroundings, but you weren't. Basically, Chris had a dream that a giant spider was about to eat me. In the room, like I actually, I had my eyes open and I could see it coming down from the ceiling on George's face. So I got woken up by Chris like, freaking out and shouting, what the fuck, oh my god, what the, and then he jumps out of bed and turns on the lights. So I've been woken up by screaming and then been blinded. And I'm like, what, what is it? And he's staring at the ceiling and I'm like, was it, was it a moth or something? And he just wasn't responding to me. And then he just got back into bed and went to sleep. Like literally two minutes later, you were asleep. I was so confused. It was a very, it, yeah. So, that was a fun thing that happened. I like, it wasn't that late either. It was, I think it was just before midnight. But I had just fallen asleep. Thank you for trying to protect me from your dream spiders. Sorry. Right. <laughs> had a nice chill morning, edited the vlog. It wasn't actually as short as I thought it was going to be in the end. Which is good. We're gonna go out for a little stroll now. Just because, you know, we like to use our weekends to go for walks, have a natter, catch up about the week, have a little gossip. Indeed. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna, well, that's what we're gonna do right now. Oh, and then we're gonna do the football this afternoon and then this evening we are meeting up with my friend from my summer job for drinks. And we've been planning this for so long. I like, we started planning this in like January? No, it was February. Because we were saving up to go on holiday, which obviously didn't happen. And I was like, can you wait until next month so, when we both get our birthday money? And she was like, yeah, sure, let's do it then. And then obviously lockdown happened. And then we started working together again over the summer and we were like, we need to do this double date. Like we need to get it done. Just as I, as I left the, for the summer, I messaged her being like, right, let's do this. Let's organize a date. And she was like, her boyfriend started to, took up a master's course last minute and it started like that week. And I was like, oh, okay. You tell me when you're free and then we'll sort it out. And then she's finally like this week, we were like, okay, let's do it. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna, we're gonna do this double date. I'm gonna take it off our to-do list. It's gonna be great. It's only been eight months in the planning. It's good. It should be fun. That's our evening. I feel like Chris is staring at me with a side eye. Staring at you? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, that's our day today. I'm going for a stroll now. Oh, look how pretty it is out today. Look at the trees turning yellow. It's pretty, it's autumn. Oh, super. Hello, straw. My face is like sore. It's so cold. It's because the rest of me is perfect temperature. And then my face is just getting like all the cold air. And it's like painful. I don't know. My body can't regulate temperature properly. And when I get cold on one part of my body, my face just. It hurts. Anyways, we're gonna take the long way home and just appreciate the beautiful countryside and the autumn, the autumn leaves. Evening, lads. Had a pretty chill afternoon. We had our little, our little stroll, and then we um, came back. Football bets did not go very well today at all. I thought that I had done quite a decent selection of, you know, 
safe bets and not safe bets to get a decent amount of money but still stood a pretty good chance at getting it and um, did not play out in my favour, it's probably the worst I've done ever um, and I blame everyone playing today not that I actually give two craps about football in any way shape or form I'm in it for the money <laughs> so yeah we did that all afternoon and then we've just been getting ready to go out because we're coming out with um double dating with my friend and her boyfriend tonight this is just getting some shoes which are buried somewhere under the stairs and i'm just clearing the bedroom up a little bit because when we come back um actually it won't be late we've got a time limit um i think i mentioned that earlier we're only allowed to stay for an hour and a half so we'll be kicked out quite early um and we'll probably just we might hang out a bit afterwards i don't know who knows? I don't. I certainly don't. Oh, I left. My coat's next door. My mask is next door. That was it. I think I'm good to go. I had to put makeup on for the first time in weeks. For the first time since leaving my summer job, which is funny because that was the last time she saw me. Yeah. Skin's not fantastic at the moment. I also don't have my... I forgot my primer and I don't have any setting powder here. Although my setting powder is smashed into a million pieces in my makeup bag, so there's still powder at the bottom of my makeup bag, which I may or may not have used. Gross, I know. But desperate times. Yeah, we're gonna go out for dinner. I probably won't vlog anything. Um, because it's a bit weird. You know, you know what it's like pulling out my camera around people. It's, it's just not something you do. Would you do it? No. Don't know why I'm getting defensive, but I'm just trying to make up content because I realised my vlogs for the past couple days have been really short because I've been in a bad mood, but I've had a nice day today. It's been really nice and chilled out. I'm just going to tidy up a little bit before we get out. Right, at the car park. Probably look very intimidating in this light. Um, I'm just heading out. This is the first time that I've gone to anywhere inside since March. Because whenever we've gone to the pub so far, we've always been outside. Yeah, true. Scary stuff. Anyways, you ready? Yep, that's right. Let's go. And we're back. We did it. Is there something on my lens or is that just the light? Hang on. It's just the light. Sorry about that. I had a really nice evening. It was really chilled out. It was quite busy. I was surprised at how busy it was. But the restaurant was really good at like spacing us all out, which was nice. And we, we booked a booth especially because it's like, you could have a table, or you could have a booth. And I was like, I want a booth so we're enclosed and away from other yeah. people. Booth was a good call. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, it was it was good. I had a nice time. I had a really nice, what was my cocktail again? It was like... Spiced pumpkin It was zombie. pumpkin, it was a pumpkin spice zombie and it was like cranberry... Let's see if I still have the menu up on my phone. Oh no, I closed it. That's so sad. It was like cranberry, I want to say rum, and then pumpkin spice something, and then another alcohol. It was. Oh. Uh, spiced rum, pumpkin infused syrup, grenadine, and cranberry juice. It was very sweet, and that's my favourite kind of alcohol when it's like super sweet and you can't actually taste the alcohol. It's really nice. But yeah, we had a really nice evening. I had a really nice time. It's nice to see my friend again and as much as it was short and brief because of the, you know, situation, it was still really, really nice and hopefully we'll meet up before the end of the year. We say that, not knowing the pandemic situation and how it's going to play out. But fingers crossed, eh? That's all we can do. I definitely won't make a habit of going out for dinner at the moment. It's not, you know, it's not a great feeling. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to go to bed now. Well, we're going to get into bed now, watch TV and fall asleep. So, thank you very much for watching everybody and I will see you guys tomorrow.